New year, new tax brackets, and the numbers might surprise you. The IRS just announced its inflation-adjusted tax brackets for 2025, along with dozens of other provisions for next year. The National News Desk, Jeff Harris, joins us. Jeff, there was a big change with these numbers compared to previous years, but what more can you share? One of, if not the biggest change here, Didi, is what's happening to the annual income threshold, which saw its smallest jump in several years. The IRS changes the threshold every year based on inflation, and since inflation is cooled, so is the adjustment. Usha Ratcliffe, a finance expert at Emory University, tells us the biggest difference in 2025 compared to previous years is that the income tax brackets have been adjusted by 2.8% which is significantly less than prior years. So what does this mean for someone who's going to pay taxes in 2025 compared to 2024? Ratcliffe says, for example, if you're a single person making $120,000 a year and taking a standard deduction, you will save some money. Because of the changes in these tax brackets, you would save in your tax bill approximately $300. And she says the same thing will carry over to married couples filing together as well. So everybody will see, you know, a little bit of savings in their taxes. But Caroline Bruckner, a tax expert at American University, tells us these tax bracket adjustments aren't the only things changing in 2025. Different provisions in the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act are also set to expire at the end of next year. The changes on the individual tax side, they expire in 2025. Which is why she believes while it's important to keep tabs on the tax bracket adjustments, next year there could be even more changes. These are hugely important budgetary debates and they will impact American families' kitchen table discussions. Now, along with the tax bracket adjustments, the IRS also boosted figures for other provisions as well, like long-term capital gains, estate and gift tax exempt exemptions, and eligibility for the earned income tax credit. Reporting for the National News Desk, I'm Jeff Harris.